This is Bitches Gone Wild, <laughs> Dagger Dior, man. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get right into this. He's giving y'all that first look. Uh -huh. oh, I think we got to turn it back up. Oh, yep. Good call. Let's get that going off the top. Hey, much love, Noel. We appreciate you. Man, how's the audio sounding tonight? Yeah. Can y'all hear Dagger Dior all right? Can you hear us all right? Yeah. I like those clothes a lot at the end right there. I really like the layering too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the layering's really solid. Appreciate you, M. Man, they dropping W's in the chat. I see you, Biggs. I see you forever. King Koi said the covers, he's rocking with it. I like that little stutter, man. That's a soft tip. King Koi rocking with this one. Kyle said, man, this mix is a choice. I don't know if I love it or I hate it. It's making him feel something. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a track yeah. for you. That's music. Right. Hey, man. Bitch has gone wild. Dagger Dior. We appreciate you for sharing that one. Yeah. Oh. It's got a good role to the title. No, real talk. That, that uh, title is going to stick out to some folks yeah. for sure. Yeah, right. Um, man, so that one I thought was really cool. I really felt like it was one of his more uh, dynamic and like mm -hmm. full sounding tracks. Yeah. Um, the only part that I was kind of iffy on is... I felt like there was uh, some maybe fuzz or distortion on one of the vocals, yeah. but it also kind of sounded like the fuzz or distortion you get from a plugin. Right, and so, yeah, it was purposeful. Yeah, so to me, it's like, it's, it's by choice, it's stylistic. Mm -hmm. I rock with that. Yeah. Um, first, like, and there's also a lot of people doing like the smooth, silky vocal right now. Mm -hmm. So for him to have kind of a similar sonic uh, appeal, but then doing something different, I can yeah. respect that too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, Dagger Dior, bitch has gone wild. <laughs> I, have, I think that was one of your most like full sounding mix. Yeah. I, I've been saying it, but um, we've just been watching you progress in your mixes, and it's it's really cool to me. Yeah, and so the the flows on it, bro, on on that like kind of the end of your last verse part, those flows were honestly really solid. I think that really showed personality and kind of just you know more establishment in like what you want yourself to sound like. Because a few a few songs ago, even you know what I'm saying, it just felt like you're finding finding groove, finding a groove, finding groove, and then this song right here, bro. It really, you know what I'm saying? I feel like hitting flows like that, that was kind of the difference for me where I'm like, oh, I really, really like this track in comparison to other ones you've sent us. So I just wanted to give you your props on that. And I'm kind of there with Poetic, whereas like the distortion on the mix is good. Like I do like the fuzz, but I think like it could be potentially cool to just find a just a little bit more of a balance and like mm -hmm. not completely take that fuzz away at all. Like keep it as a main asset to the what you're doing, but then bring out that sweetness, you know what I'm saying? Keep that middle vocal just a little bit sweeter so that the harmonies just, you know what I'm saying, keep mm -hmm. going. And like we said, it's always subjective. I, I think that's what could sound cool just based off things I listen to or I've made, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. Um, But I do think that was a really solid song and I just want to give, like, all the stutters, like, I like that you didn't abuse shit like that, but you threw it in there. So, I, honestly, Agreed. solid track, dude. This is, like, good evolution. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a good direction. I like where you're headed. No, I agree with you, bro, man. Y'all some of the first, like, 50 people to hear mm -hmm. this track. You let us know when it's out. Dagger Dior, we get it added to our community playlist. 